Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to level up and we're going to look at a couple of things that we've done in the past and see how we can put those together to create something new. So the interactions I want to show are first there's this parallax effect that we talked about a few weeks ago. And in web design, the parallax effect is when the content scrolls and then there's an image that scrolls at a different pace than the rest of the content. And so we're able to get this effect in Canvas. The other effect that we explored recently is how to get a text overlay. And I showed you how to get an image, maybe lighten it up and put dark text on it, or maybe darken the image, put some light text, and also put in a combination of headings and paragraph font. So these are two very fun and interactive effects that can really give your course a wow effect. So now let's put those tutorials together and see if we can come up with a parallax overlay effect. And so I have that image with the parallax and I've lightened the background and then I added some text on top of it. And so how is it that we can get this effect? Now in order to have this effect, you're going to have to put some code into your theme editor. So you're either going to have to have access to your institution's theme editor, or you're going to have to be able to work with somebody who has access to that. And this is the code that you are going to need. And I'm going to put a link to this code in the description of this video, as well as on our website, howtocanvas.com. So feel free to grab this code from me and you can modify it as well before you upload it into your theme editor. First of all, for the parallax effect, you're going to need this code up here. You can copy it as it is and paste it right into your CSS file. For the text overlay code, I have a bit here. One is an overlay content property. I'm aligning the text center and putting it at a relative position. This is imperative in order for that effect to render correctly. And I also created this interesting code. One is a lightning effect, so I put the opacity at 0.3. Now 1.0 would mean there's no opacity, meaning the picture is just a regular picture. 0.0, .0 means it's completely invisible. It's so opaque that you can't even see it. And so point three is on the lighter end. Sometimes I want the image to be dark and I'll put some light text on it. In that case, I have this class, which is overlay dash darken. In that case, I bump the brightness down 50%. A brightness at 100% means it's just the regular picture. A brightness at 0% means it's just the black box. And finally, I have that code on the very bottom there, the overlay dash text code, where I put the position as absolute. I put the text 50% from the top, 50% from the left, and then I translated it negative 50% from the top and the left. And that gives the text the centering effect. And that way it's not right up against the edges or spilling off the screen. So this code, you'll need to copy it and paste it, put it into your theme editor as is. You can modify the things. You can change the opacity or create multiple classes. Maybe one class could be an opacity of 0.3. You can have another one that's the opacity of 0.6, for example. You can have different stages of brightness as well. You can have my 50%, and then you can also have maybe 75% and 25%. That's up to you. And really the lighten and the darken classes are optional, but for accessibility purposes, and just so that you can read it, then I made those available to you. So let's go back onto this page, and now I'm going to edit the page so that we can look at the behind the scenes. What's going on back there? Now all of this normal stuff, this is just content. I have some headers, I have some paragraphs, and a list. Really the parallax overlay effect is this bit of code right here in the middle. Let's look at this in the context of the CSS that I'm sharing with you. First of all, I have a div. And that div spans the entire interaction, and the class is overlay-content. What that's doing is making sure that the text will be centered and the position will be relative. And the image and the text are going to be within that class. So next, let's look at this div right here. I have a div, and it actually has two classes. One is the class that's parallax, and that gives me the parallax effect, and that's the initial code that we have on the example over here. And then I have another class, which is overlay-lighten, which if you remember, that lightens it, gives it an opacity of 0.3. So it's going to make it a very light image. Next, I have some style. So style would be inline CSS, because it's CSS that I'm using right here within the div. And the style I have is background image and then URL. And here is the website to that image. You can change this to whatever image URL that you would prefer, or you can even upload your own image into Canvas and then just grab that URL and replace this code with the new URL for your image. Next, I have a height of 300 pixels, 
And important to me is a width of 100%. So I want it to span the entire width of the page and I only want it to be 300 pixels tall. I put this code right here, ampersand NBSP semicolon, that's a non-breaking space, that's HTML code for a space. And that's important because if you don't have anything within this div, then Canvas is just going to scrub it. It's going to delete it, but when you actually put a space within it, then it keeps it and says, okay, there's supposed to be something here. The background is an image. It's going to be 300 pixels tall, 100% wide. And so that right there gives me my parallax image, and now I just want to put some text on top of the image. And that's where I have this div right here. I have the div with the class overlay dash text. And then I put some style. I want this invisible text box to be about 50% the width of the screen, but I also want it to be a minimum width of 350 pixels. And we talked about that, why that's important in our last tutorial when we talked about text overlay. And then what's the actual text that you want? For me, it's just boilerplate text. I put it in a header two. I put some padding around it, 20 pixels from the top and the bottom. And then I just put some words. This is just boilerplate words. You can replace that with whatever text you want. And that's my parallax image with text overlay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna put it at the bottom and let's just tinker around with a little bit of it. For one, I'm just gonna find an image on Unsplash. In fact, this image looks kind of fun. Let's just grab this one. So what I'll do is I'll copy the image address for this picture. We'll head back over here and the URL, I'm going to replace it with that new URL that I grabbed. I'll keep the height at 300 pixels, I'll keep the width at 100% for now, and then I'm just going to add some content just so that we can scroll down on the page. And just for fun, let's replace the text as well, put something new, and let's see what we have. So here's the page, there's my previous parallax, and here's my new one. You can see that just adds a fun flair. Now let's make a couple of modifications and let's do it using both the rich content editor as well as the HTML editor. So in the rich content editor, this actually doesn't look that great. The image is tiled and then the overlay text actually appears underneath it. And so this is a header two. Let's go ahead and make that maybe 36 font. And I'm gonna change the font family to something, I don't know, maybe a little bit more personal. You can even change the color if you want. Now let's go back into the HTML editor here and let's make a couple of changes here. I'm going to change this width from 50% to maybe 75% and I know I put 36 points right there but let's bump that up to something big like 60 points. The height, let's change that maybe to 400 pixels high instead of 300 pixels high. So it's just a couple of minor modifications, nothing real big, but let's save it and then take a look. So now you can see the image is a little bit bigger, the font is bigger, I changed it from 75 width to 50, so if I kept it at 50, it would only take up 50% of the width, and so probably this word amazing would be on a second line. And what's interesting about this parallax code that I'm giving you is if I were to reduce the, um, the course navigation there, then you can see it also takes up 100% of the screen. So this is a very interesting effect, I think it can be done really well and it can really make your classes interesting. Use it in discussions when you're replying to students if you want to really amaze them. It's not an effect necessarily that's going to enhance your content or help your students master their learning objectives any better, but it is a way that you can personalize your courses. And to me, a lot of education, especially online education, is about relationships more than technology. And I would say even more than just academics and scholarship alone, I think that without that humanization of the content, then our courses really don't have as much value. And so you wanna do whatever you can to be personal and to let your students know that you care. And part of that is the design of the content that you deliver. All these touches make an impact on your students' lives. So again, grab my code from the website. The link is in the description below. Take my code, modify it, play around with it, try and break it, try and fix it, and let me know what you think. If you do like this tip, then please subscribe to our channel and visit us on social media. And happy teaching and learning.